Hey everybody, my name is Zach Pascarello and I am on a mission to teach other people how they can start their very own bookkeeping business. The great thing is you can do it with no experience and you can start today. I started my bookkeeping business three years ago and I had no experience, no college degree, no work experience, no certifications. I was able to start my very own bookkeeping business in 2020 and I got my first client two months after I started my business. Three years later, I'm still running my business full time. I quit my job and I love what I do. So now I am committed to teach other people how to do exactly what I'm doing. In this video, I'm going to talk about marketing 101. I always tell people it's a four step process. Before I get into it, I do need to say that I created a bookkeeping course. I'm teaching you exactly how to start your own bookkeeping business. It's a four step process. I teach you QuickBooks and bookkeeping fundamentals. I teach you marketing. I teach you sales. And then finally, I teach you how to manage the clients once you actually get your first client. There's a link to sign up for the course in the description of this video. Also, I'm meeting every single week with other bookkeeping business owners and we meet every Monday at 3 p.m. There's a link to sign up for those weekly meetings in the description of this video. I think you're going to get a ton of value out of the course and the weekly meetings. Okay, let's jump right into it. Let's start talking about marketing because honestly, bookkeeping and QuickBooks are relatively simple, but starting a business and actually getting your first client is super, super, super tough. Ask anybody who's done it before. I'm sure they will say the same thing, but I try to break it down. I try to keep it simple and I try to keep it current with the times. I'm not telling you to do newspaper advertising. I'm not telling you to advertise on Craigslist because those to me are outdated ways of advertising. Today, I'm going to talk about Facebook marketing, Facebook advertising, and the coolest thing, you can do it all for free. Everything I'm about to talk about, I have done completely for free over the past three years. Caveat, really, really hard. This is difficult. This is not easy. So, if you're trying to start a business and you think it's going to be easy, then stop right now because this is not for you. This is going to require a ton of hard work from you. I just have to be honest with you. I have to be genuine. I have to keep it real. If anybody tells you starting a bookkeeping business is easy, I'm sorry to tell you, they're probably lying to you. Okay. With that being said, let's jump right into it here on the screen here. I have the four step process real quick create content, find clients, connect with them, engage with them. Okay, so what exactly does that mean? Let's break it down. Number one, create content. The whole point of you creating social media marketing content is so that you can tell the world, hey, look at me, I just started a bookkeeping business and trust me because I'm a bookkeeping expert. So you gotta tell people, hey, I just started a bookkeeping business. Hey, my mission is to serve local business owners and help organize their finances so that they're less stressed out so that they can focus on actually running their business. Hey, look at me, I just landed my first client. Or hey, look at me, I just got my QuickBooks Online Certified Pro Advisor certification. Or hey, check out this new QuickBooks tutorial that I just uploaded on my Facebook page. These are all simple ideas for your marketing content. The whole point is so that you can tell the world, hey, I just started a business and I'm a bookkeeping expert, I'm a QuickBooks expert, and probably more importantly, you need to create this content so that your prospective clients start to trust you because right now they have no idea who you are. They don't trust you. They don't believe you. But if you post a ton of content for a long period of time, they will start to trust you because they're going to see, wow, this guy, wow, this lady, they are committed to their bookkeeping business. They are always putting out awesome tips, tricks, advice on bookkeeping and QuickBooks. I kind of st I'm starting to trust these people. So the plan here, you need to create social media marketing content every single day for 30 days straight. I tell people 30 days so that they can kickstart their habit. I'm not going to tell you to create content every day for an entire year because in my opinion, that's a very intimidating goal. So I'm going to keep it short. The goal is create content every day for 30 days and don't worry about Saturday and Sunday. Just focus on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday through Friday, create a Facebook post every single day. Now the key here is to make it simple enough that you can continue doing this 
on a consistent basis. You don't want to spend two hours creating social media content because you're going to be exhausted. You're going to get burnt out after the second day. So maybe 15, 20 minutes, make a post and stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to show you exactly how I would create a very simple Facebook post using ChatGPT and Canva and it's all for free, completely for free. I'm gonna use a quick analogy that I think makes a ton of sense. Let's say, for example, you start going to the gym or you start a new diet. If you crush it for three days, that's awesome, congratulations. But if you stop going to the gym after three days, if you stop eating healthy for three days, whatever your goals are, I guarantee you, you will not achieve those goals in three months because you need to go to the gym every single day for three months before you start to get stronger. You need to stick to your diet for three months every single day before you start to really lose weight and change your lifestyle. The exact same concept applies to marketing. I cannot stress this enough. Congratulations if you make a post every single day for a week, that's awesome. You definitely accomplish something, but you're not going to spread the word. You're not going to tell people that you're a bookkeeping expert. You're not going to build trust with your audience unless you stick with this for 30 days, 90 days, three years in my case. So I want you to try to create a post every day for 30 days. And then guess what? After you've hit your 30 day mark, congratulations, you just established an amazing habit with building your business. Now continue doing that every single day for the next six months. Okay, that's enough on creating content. Next, we're gonna talk about finding clients. So right now, your Facebook friends, you're probably not friends with too many business owners. So. Here's what I tell everybody. You need to find prospective clients. The best way to do that, go to Facebook groups, join five Facebook groups right now, and you wanna look for two things. You want them to be relevant to your geographical region just because people are more likely to trust you if they live close to you. For whatever reason, people are more like, likely to trust me if, the, if I live in Pennsylvania and they live in Pennsylvania versus somebody who lives in California might not be as willing to work with me. I'm not saying it's impossible, but focus your attention on your geographical region because there are plenty of people who live in your city right now who need your services. So focus on them. Go to Facebook groups relevant to your geographical region and then pick groups that have more than 5,000 people in them. So go to these groups and become a member of these groups. You don't necessarily need to post in these groups, but Step number three, connect with your prospective clients. So go to these groups, go to the list of members in these groups and start sorting through the members and look for people who are business owners and friend request them. I recommend send 50 friend requests every single day to your prospective clients in these Facebook groups. Like I said, this is not going to be easy. This is no joke. You're not gonna start your bookkeeping business by sitting behind your computer and waiting for people to call you. You need to reach out to them. Okay, step number four, engage with your audience. So you created content, you found prospective clients, you friend requested them, they accepted your friend request, congratulations, now you are Facebook friends with a potential client. You can go one step further. I feel like this is such an overlooked step to social media marketing. I compare this to you going to a networking event. Let's say you get a fresh haircut, you buy fancy clothes, you go to a networking event and you sit in the corner and you don't talk to anybody. You've almost made it, you almost did the right thing. You went to the event, you got all dressed up, you look good, but you're missing the point. You're not talking to anybody. So on your Facebook, you need to comment on 10 of your friends posts every single day. This is going to help get your name out there. This is going to help you build relationships with your prospective clients. And this will help you build trust with your prospective clients. Keep it fun, keep it professional, keep it lighthearted and keep it short. You can say things like, congratulations, that, look, that looks awesome. Good job, keep up the good work. I love seeing your success. Wow, I love this. Really simple, one sentence, keep it positive, keep it light, and always keep it professional. This is a great way to build relationships with your prospective clients. Okay, now, that was a long explanation. I know I talked fast. And if you want more information on Marketing 101, you gotta check out my course. I break everything down in much more detail in that course. This is just a quick video that I'm making to spread the good news about social media marketing. 
Okay, let me show you now. Let me share my screen. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to create a very simple post. Okay, this is ChatGPT. If you haven't heard of ChatGPT, you might be living under a rock. I'm going to show you real quick how to generate some ideas using ChatGPT. Disclaimer, I'm so far from a marketing guru. I am not an artificial intelligence expert. I'm just a normal guy who's trying to use technology just to get by a little bit. Here's a couple things that I do know. Here is what I would do if I were you getting started. So you want to create social media content that is teaching other people some bookkeeping tips. That way it establishes you as a bookkeeping expert and you're providing some value to your audience, your prospective clients. So here I'm asking ChatGPT, give me five bookkeeping tips for new business owners. If you don't want to use book, if you don't want to use ChatGPT, you could just read a blog post from Google. Same concept. Okay, let's see what ChatGPT gives us. Here are five bookkeeping tips straight from ChatGPT. Starts with organize your financial documents, separate business and personal expenses, track all of your expenses and income, use accounting software, and set aside time regularly. These are great tips. Okay, let's use this one for example separate personal and business finances. One of the most common mistakes new business owners make is mixing personal and business finances. Okay, so if you wanna keep it really super simple, just copy that, and then you need to go over to Canva. You can get a Canva account for free. Take a picture of yourself. It can be any picture. You can see here on the side here, I have a bunch of silly pictures that I took of myself. Here's a nice professional picture of myself wearing a suit. Here's an outdoor picture of myself. It doesn't matter what the picture is. Let's use this one, for example. And then you can set this as your background. And then you can just really simply, all this software is free. You can use ChatGPT free. You can use Canva for free. So make get a picture of yourself. Use your iPhone. You don't need a fancy camera. Use your iPhone. Take a picture of yourself. And then just make this white square. Here's a another picture of myself. This is my profile picture. I have my name right here, Zach Pascarello. And then you can very simply just copy the text from ChatGPT. One of the most common mistakes new business owners make is mixing personal and business finances. You can keep it as simple as that. You can spice it up. You can make it a little more interesting. But this is how you can easily create social media marketing content for free in less than 10 minutes. I hope this video was helpful. I strongly recommend check out my course, tune in to my live meetings every Monday at 3 p.m. Use ChatGPT, use Canva, start creating content today because getting new clients is the hardest part about starting a bookkeeping business.